So I, I will, uh, yeah. So this uh, Jubilee's case, which uh, gang rape case, which has, which was reported on 28th, uh, and uh, there has been some uh, sensationalism about it. So we have gone into the entire details, and the investigation has come to a certain stage where all the uh, juveniles involved in the offence, along with one major, uh, has been they have been arrested. They have, uh, they have been taken into custody, and we have to now produce them. Uh, four have already been. Uh, produced before the juvenile home. The remaining two also will be produced today. This all started on uh, March 28th with one uh, juvenile uh, from Bangalore wanting to host a party in this Amnesia pub and uh, he contacted three friends here and they organized through one Usman Ali Khan. They are all made minors so they couldn't uh, book the pub on their name, the, their friend Usman Ali who is the major, he went and booked the pub. They offered a rate of 1200 rupees to organize the party and uh, on 19th this uh, boy from, uh, minor boy from Bangalore, he announced on his Instagram page that the Euphora party is on, on 28th and he also gave his cell phone number. So there is a lot of rush for this, though the rate was reduced to 900 by the pub management, they start, continued to collect uh, 1250 from uh, all the uh, so called clients. Then on uh, they pay, made an advance payment on uh, two days prior to the event, 90,000 plus 10,000, 1 lakh rupees was transferred to the account of Mr. Kunal. And uh, the victim girl on that day, 28th, she also paid 1300 rupees for, as an entry fee. She along with a friend of hers, who is also a minor, they came and they entered the pub after finishing the formalities. Till, uh, On 28th evening, uh, why, the, why the delay is there in the investigation, I would like to explain before I explain the sequence of events. On uh, 28th, this incident happened. Uh, she went home. Uh, parents saw some injuries on her neck. But uh, despite a lot of prodding and uh, uh, requesting, she did not reveal any details to her parents. Then the father got worried and he approached uh, through a friend. He approached the DCP and the uh, police station. So immediately a case was registered the same night on 31st under section 9 and 10 of POXO Act. Uh, 8 p.m. the FR was issued. Then there also she did not reveal much details. It was just a bare almost type of affair. I mean, whatever little she could recollect, she could. She did not know most of the uh, accused. Then uh, the victim was taken to the Bharosa center on 1st. Then uh, there, after almost 4-5 hours of counseling and giving her confidence, she came out with the entire story of how she was gang raped by 5 other minor boys. And then the section was altered to 376D, which is gang rape case section, and section 5, read with 6 of POXO Act. Then she was sent for a medical examination, and the investigation was started. On third, the only out of the accused, only one is a major. His name is Saaduddin Malik, whom we can name. He was arrested on third. And then on fourth, two other uh, CCLs, they are child in conflict with law. S two other CCLs were arrested on 4th and uh, the 
third uh, CCL was arrested on 5th. We have gone through the entire CCTV footage available in the pub, outside the pub, outside the building, on the main roads. Then the circulated uh, footages from the social media which were not available to us at that time because the juveniles themselves have done this. The CCLs themselves have circulated this on their social media uh, pages. And then uh, the video footage at the bakery, Konsu bakery where they went. So after looking at all that, we have come out with a very clear sequence of events, minute to minute, what happened on 28th. So that I have already explained how uh, the girl and the, her friend entered the pub at 1.10pm uh, and then uh, how uh, <coughs> 1.50 till about 3.10 they were together then uh, with how the CCLs entered the pub at around uh, 3.15 then uh, two of them approached her made advances, danced with her then they started molesting her uh, which is all some footage is available in the uh, CCTV which we got and then around 5-10 the first act of molestation was done in terms of kissing and uh, embracing her and all that then the girls the, the victim girl was with one of her friends both of them started feeling uncomfortable in the pub and they decided to leave that was around 5.40 they came out but these uh, CCLs along with Sadhuddin they already had sensed that this girl is I mean they can do something and they followed they already looked at it the body language looked as if uh, they had already made the plan then at 5.43 they all came out the, her friend left in a cab she was alone they talked to her and they all four CCLs and she the victim girl boarded a Mercedes uh, at around 5.43 to go to Konzu Bakery the remaining uh, CCLs who were uh, in this case entered the Vinova and both the vehicles went to Konzu Bakery and then after that uh, on the way obviously some videos were circulated where the four CCLs in the car kissed by rotation kissed her and uh, this was circulated by themselves through their social media pages then uh, they reached the bakery at around 5.51 the vi uh, victim got down from the Mercedes uh, and got into Innova at 554 uh, then uh, we have a sequence of events where one of the CCL got down from the Innova and came back into the bakery so the uh, Innova which is in question which is a crime vehicle in which the gang rape happened went with the A1 Saduddin Malik and four other minor accused and a victim they, it left at 6 18 pm they went to an isolated place behind Pedama temple road number 44 and one by one they raped the victim girl so this has come out and now the entire uh, sequence of events uh, is very clear and uh, what uh, we have invoked sections 376 D which is gang rape 323 IPC which is hurt causing hurt POXO Act 5G read with 6 aggravated penetrated sexual assault and also 366A and 366IPC kidnapping minor and inducing by inducing and IT Act 67 section for circulating these videos on their uh, social media now the punishments for this is quite severe it will not less than 20 years or imprisonment for life till until death or even death penalty in very serious cases and uh, along with this a reasonable amount of fine has to be paid to the victim as decided by the court to meet medical expenses and rehabilitation of the victim 
there is a sixth CCL who had got down from Innova and gone back. He has been uh, charged with 354 IPC, 323 IPC, 9G Red with 10 Poxo Act, which has a punishment of 5 years minimum and 7 years maximum. So these are the facts of the case and uh, uh, we are, there are small aspects of the investigation left like the Innova vehicle being an official vehicle and why it was there is a delay in seizing it which we are looking into and uh, we have enough evidences gathered from the Innova nothing no evidence was lost so clues team has managed to gather them and uh, I am sure the trial will be making all the efforts uh, to uh, bring these uh, juvenile offenders to book. Thank you.